Hello, hello, and welcome to where we come to grow, talk, and just share. Well, I'll be doing most of the sharing. Um, hopefully, you guys will interact. So I wanted to talk about um, how we can, like, reconnect with ourselves, some of the tips and some of the things you can expect in doing so. So um, the first major big thing that you can do to, like, reconnect with yourself is to completely detox and strip away all that you're doing so no more brunches no more travel um no more shopping no more um going out for dinners drinking clubbing partying none of that like we're just gonna shut all of that down right this is gonna um strip away any distractions that are gonna keep you from reconnecting with yourself so it, it's kind of like a picture so if you see a picture and it's got grass and the sun and some, some clouds uh, and you take all of that away, you're left with nothing but like a blank white canvas. This is what you want to get back to. This is essentially your light. So uh, once you strip away all of those things, uh, you're, some things are going to come up um, in this process and, and we're going to work through those things so that you can be left with nothing but white light. Um, and then we'll get into the rest at a di different time. So, so enough with that. So, something that you can expect with doing this is it's it's gonna get rocky. Okay, we're about to do some real work that isn't superficial. We're about to do more work than just going to clock in at a nine to five. Then going to talk to um, somebody about buying a shirt. We're gonna do more work than cooking. We're gonna do more work than cleaning, more work than sitting down and figuring out what you want to watch on Netflix. We're going to go deep. So since we're going deep, some ugly things are going to arise because they arose in me, right? You're gonna start experiencing sadness, um <clears throat> excuse me, depression, probably some stages of rage, um, just a whole range of emotions some that you are aware of you probably know why where and why they came about and where they started and some you might not even know you knew what it was because sometimes i'm sitting and i'm like oh my goodness is this anxiety i'm feeling or is this um, frustration so all you can expect for a, a whole array of emotion just to put it pretty plain um this is not going to be a pretty process but it will be a beautiful process um when you're done i promise if you stick to it if you stick to it because if you stop mid midway i'm gonna tell you it ain't gonna be good either if you stop midway half of you is gonna be like you know boo baby mama what are we doing you know i i thought we were gonna go and do this i thought we were gonna go and heal and i thought we were gonna you know uh, emerge as this beautiful butterfly this beautiful butterfly and the other half is going to be like nah we good we good right here we good so you don't want that you don't want that tur turmoil inside of your heart inside of your mind or your being you just want to make a dedicated decision that i'm going to walk this path and i'm trying to help by giving you some expectations because um gratefully i did have my husband to help me walk through this process but um no one prepared me realistically for the turmoil that was going to come about within me. You know, I had to experience some pretty ugly thoughts, emotions, feelings, and even some of my actions were ugly. I, had to, I was in the mirror like, oh my goodness, is this who I am? You know, I remember waking up and then I think it was like early morning in the middle of the night telling my husband, like, I think I might even been crying too. Like, I don't like who I am. He was like, oh, that's good. That's good. That means you know, you have space to change it. So, anywho, back to it. So, if you don't have kids, if you don't have a husband, if you don't have a man, this is the most ideal time to do this kind of work. 
if you do have kids and a husband and a man or what have you or um, you know it's not it's not the end of the world but it just will create a little bit of extra challenge and that's okay because if that's your challenge for where you are then that means this is for you like you're strong enough to do it so nothing should be holding us back so I would suggest that once you make the commitment to go down this road deal with these demons within you deal with these hard times and when I say demons I'm talking about your experiences I'm talking about the people that did you wrong the people you did wrong the people you lied to the people that manipulated you people who hurt you the people you hurt people you let run over you the people you ran over all of that those are demons and in another topic on another day (laughs) um I will discuss demons demons are not bad Demons are your friend, okay? They just are on the other side because you're on the other side. So I would suggest speaking to your man. And if you have children who are of age, I would suggest speaking to them. I would call a family meeting, okay? I would call a family meeting on a good Thursday, Friday, whenever the day that you're going to be committed, I would call the meeting and sit everybody down and say, listen, mommy has some changes to do. You know what I'm saying? And it is not going to be an easy process. It might even take some time. But this is what you can expect because this is what I was told I could expect. My mood will change. My emotions will change. My responses will change. Sometimes I will be present. Sometimes I won't be present. I'm going to do the best I can to continue to be the best mother, the best wife. But this is what I'm going through. And I would say, you know, um, (laughs) can we just clap it up for you? Go, girl. Go, girl. You are doing it. Do you hear me? Okay. Yes. Go. Do it. Hallelujah. Whatever you want to say. Yes. You know, so sit them down and tell them, I'm about to unravel some some of these um, layers on this onion. Okay. I'm about to peel some stuff back. I'm about to peel the muffin cap back blue. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, we're going to get into it. And I'm going to to uncover some of these ugly aspects of myself that I no longer want to be associated with I no longer want to be associated with a liar I no longer want to be associated with a manipulator or a negative person or bad thoughts or bad emotions or a bad attitude or dressing like a hey okay we you know I'm saying I'm trying to be this 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 woman this woman that in my heart of hearts I know that we know we are supposed to be Okay, so yeah, have that conversation. Let everybody know what the expectations are. Let this is a real time video that I cannot go back and edit in my sleep. Let bring that to mommy. Yeah, you know, nasty. Thank you, baby. My son was trying to eat stuff off the floor. Okay, so back to the video. Um, <laughs> so let them know. Let them know what the, what can be expected. And, and that you'll need some patience because you're going to need patience for yourself. So, therefore, they'll have to give you some. Uh-uh. Hold on. We're going to take a quick, brief moment. Okay. So, we are back. So, let's just go over the checklist real quick. So, the first thing we need to do is be cutting off these distractions. Again, that is your family, friends, any entertainment, outside clubs, organizations. We're not doing any shopping, no traveling because that was all unnecessary anyway. Um, brunches, no more nails, no more hair. Um, any type of events. We're literally staying in the house um, outside of going to work, any kid obligations and medical needs, and of course, food. Other than that, we are really trying to seclude ourselves so that we can see exactly who and what we are, what we do, and to basically be aware we need to observe us and we can't do that if I'm outside with brunch I'm not going to be sitting down thinking about you know what my thoughts are if I'm at brunch I'm going to be looking at you know what she wearing that guy those kids the food the sky the music you know how when you go to brunch it's just a whole complete distraction to keep you away from you your thoughts and everything you got going on so we're, we're not doing any of those things those things are no more we're sitting in the house with a journal, with your tea if you need it, and we are getting this together. So you will find that, okay, so once you agree to do this, you told the family, you're sitting in the house, you're about ready to start your first day, this is what will happen. So you're going to find that you cannot cope. Like stripping away all of that is going to feel like you were a crackhead all your life and you ain't spoken over crack that's what it's gonna feel like that's what it's gonna seem like you're gonna have all these kind of withdrawals you probably not know what to do with yourself but what you'll naturally do because these are the things that we have not given up yet 
you'll go and watch a lot of TV or you'll go overeat whatever's in the kitchen or um, social media. You'll go right all off into that to try to create a distraction. This is going to be your ego trying to step in and, and, and basically give you a different distraction because you are no longer distracting yourself with the outside world of physically going out to do those things so now you're in the house it's going to be like oh let's just go watch tv let me binge watch a tv show i never knew i needed to not watch all of that that's what you're going to be up against right and i say give yourself grace because the 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 goal isn't to like get there in one sitting the goal is to slowly like I don't want to say niche because I feel like that's not the right word, but like to slowly break yourself from these habits. That is like perfect. That's the perfect way to say it. Okay. So yes, to slowly break yourself away from these habits. And the biggest one is saying, I'm going to seclude myself in the house. Now, the next thing you know, you can expect is, okay, my body, my mind, my emotions are going to tell me we don't know how to deal with all of this um alone time or seclusion time. Let me watch TV. Let me eat. Let me watch social media allow yourself to do that, right? Um, We're giving ourselves some time to let this newness set in and to let that old go away. So creating a new norm for ourselves. Oh, I no longer go to brunch. I never, I no longer do unnecessary travel. I no longer go to the club. Um, Those are not my new norms. So what will happen is that space will free up. That time, that energy that you were giving to that will free up. Of course, you'll be in the house, but it will free up, which is perfect. This is where we want to be. This is where we want to go, right? So some of that, not going to lie, right? It's going to go to the the other things, the, the eating, the social media, and the TV. But then you'll still have some left over. We want to start utilizing that energy. We want to start utilizing the other energy that is just like going to fall into like the board category, if you will. And with that energy, you ain't got to go all in. But just start taking a little time to like "Mm -hmm, read a book, watch a documentary, um, do something that for whatever reason, just because you're bored, just start doing something that will bring new knowledge, new information. We're trying to trigger our subconscious to grab onto one of these things that will take you off into, you know, uh, never, never land, if you will, right? So read a new book, um, listen to a a different genre of music, get on YouTube and and find a new skill, um, try baking, you know, because you're already going to be eating anyway. These things, or even, this is the best one, and it's so simple that it's hard. We'll get there. So the best one is finding little tasks to do around the house. Clean your baseboards. I know that nobody wants to do this. I know. I know. Clean your baseboards. Organize your closet. Throw some stuff away. Clean your bathroom re um what do you call it when you move your furniture around? move your furniture around do some of those things right what will happen when you start to do these things ideas will come um thoughts will come emotions will come and the great thing about this is this is going to be a part of some of those things i told you that were going to come up some of those ugly moments they won't all be beautiful um butterflies and sunshine and rainbows some of them are going to be dark some of them are going to be old memories um where it went just left cringing moments hurtful moments those things start to come up and we want that we don't want to run away from that right we're doing this we're doing this to unmask all of that Right. And we can only do that by allowing the demons to surface, allowing them to say, hey, this is something we haven't dealt with. This is something we haven't dealt with. Oh, and remember that time your mama cussed you out because you was out there being, you know, how you was being. Uh, We need to deal with that. Oh, and remember that time you got fired from that job because you was um, not coming to work on time? Yeah, we need to deal with that. Oh, and, oh, and remember that time we never, ever applied for that for that um, competition. We need to deal with that. So those things are going to come up. 
as we're cleaning, as we decide to take on a new task, and that's fine. It's going to be very challenging. When I was doing this stuff, I mean, I couldn't make it through all of it. Some of it was coming in waves, okay? It was coming in waves, and I was, like, getting little little specks and pieces of an emotion of something, and I would try to follow the emotion. I would try to follow the emotion of, like, okay, I feel really angry. What am I angry about? Am I, am I doing anything? I'm just sitting here, uh, maybe enjoying some tea or watching a movie. Why am I angry? And then I would follow it all the way back. And then it would eventually tell me. My, my higher self would eventually tell me and reveal to me, like, oh, you're angry because that one time when you didn't do this. And I'm like, um, are we really still holding on? Like, I thought I was over that, not even affected by that. And then my higher self was like, uh, you know, that affected us. So let's deal with that. So that is something else you can expect, right? We went down a whole tangent of that. I hope all of this is helping you guys. Please subscribe um, if you enjoy the content, like the video, share the video, even if you don't subscribe. I really don't care if you don't subscribe, but share the video. The goal of this channel is to help us, to help our, to help the women, to help my sisters, because we are sisters. I know the world has, has shown us that we are not, we are very ugly towards each other. But this video, these videos is for us. It's for us. It's for us to get back to having a sisterhood and a bond and knowing how to respect ourselves so that when we see another woman, we're not in competition with them. Uh, we're not fighting and, and bickering and sizing each other up. And once you start to uncover these things, you'll start to see, oh, yeah, I was ugly towards some of the other women. So share the video okay and like it if you don't subscribe i don't care but like the video and share the video okay moving right along so doing all of this this is the this is called releasing reveal and release right we, it, it, your your subconscious your higher self your mind your body your soul your spirit it reveals these things that need to be worked on and then um you release them by sitting with yourself and walking it back so remember I had the feeling of anger and I was like well, where, why am I angry and it took me all the way back to you know um, not standing up for myself at a time or um, not walking away or not handling the situation properly or even just putting myself in that situation period like walking all of that through is a great release because you're able to learn from those moments one time, a family member of mine stole from me, and I'm such a loving person. Most of us women, we are. We're very loving people. We don't really harbor a lot of ill will towards other people, and if you do, that's okay. We just got to get that together, okay? So, um, they, he, that my, the family member stole from me, and I didn't have enough confidence, enough self-love to go and tell them, um, excuse me, don't you ever in your life. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have that. So I just walked over it like it never happened. When I had to come back and deal with it, I was very angry with myself. I was disappointed and I was sad because I was like, not only did my family member do that to me, but I was like, um, girl, what are you going to do for us? What are you going to do for me? What it, what's, what, what are you doing? You know, so I had to, you have to walk those emotions back so that you can allow yourself to bring back the reason why you're that way. And then once you can see the reason why you're that way, then you can be like, oh, okay, you can start to brainstorm some ideas of how not to be put in that situation again or how you can handle it differently the next time. So this is called the re reveal and the release stage, okay? This and, and by like journaling all of these thoughts, even if you like, you don't necessarily have to speak it out with anybody. You can go to a therapist if you like. So real quick, there's a gazillion, bazillion, ways to do this work, to do this process of revealing and releasing. You can do it through journaling. You can do it through um, videoing, recording yourself. You can speak to a to your husband or your, your significant other. Um, you can go to a therapist, right? But I believe in doing my own work. 
Okay, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to do my own work so that I can know through and through the necessary skills. Um, and I can ex- I can tell you the experience. If I go to a therapist, I'm not saying that you won't get the same experience. I'm just saying for me personally, I'm going to be in here doing it myself. That's it. So that when my sister comes up to me and says, or my daughter comes up to me and say, I'm dealing with with um, anger or rage. I want to tell them how I overcame anger and rage, not go to the therapist, not go talk to your friend, not whatever. You know, I want to tell you, when I had to deal with anger. This is what I experienced. This is how I came about. I want to be able to lay it all out for you in hopes that it helps you, inspires you, gives you some tools to like go and uh, do it for yourself essentially, so that you can have your, because all it is is supposed to be leading to freedom, okay, freedom of self, and, and self-awareness, and it's just a beautiful thing, to be able to be in control of yourself, not have nobody else um, come up to you and just disturb your day, or your peace, so this is the safest way that I perceive it to be, is journaling, I've been journaling since I was a kid, I've had multiple, 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 multiple diaries, didn't even know that that was my, um, preferred method of release until I got older and I'm like okay I'm just gonna stick with that because it's always worked and if it ain't broken don't fix it so I would say this is the safest way to not drag anybody else into your mess because the thing with emotions and energy we all know it can be transferred and all that good stuff so if you're having a a crappy day um and you try to go and have so long story short of it this is this is just one of the ways. So I recommend journaling because you don't have to drag anybody else um, into it. You you can just really how can I say this? You can really just uh, not place that burden on anyone else. Now, if you have a, a husband who who you trust, who's or a significant other um, who you trust, who's wise, who's strong enough to handle this then I would share, then I would share, and even if you don't, if you don't know if he or she, if he or, if he is wise enough or strong enough to handle it, um, I would try it, I would share one of my emotions with them and see what kind of feedback they give, if it sounds logical, um, realistic, and it ain't any type of um, detrimental advice, then I would maybe start to share these things with them, but what I found is, well, I have a I just have a really great husband. You don't mind helping me, you know. Um, I think, I think he gets a lot out of it by helping me. So I sometimes share these things with him, and then he can give me his perspective on what's going on with me, or or what it is that my higher self is trying to signal to me, or you know, a route that I need to go, the direction, or how to handle the situation. Right. So I would say start with journaling. Start with journaling because not everybody can handle your darkness. Not everybody can handle these demons and not everybody know knows how to um, guide you through that. OK, so uh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully my husband do, do not mind me sharing this story. I should ask him. OK, so he said it's OK to share the story with you guys. So um, my husband, when he was a kid, he um, had some sort, sort of nightmare with his dreams and he saw his soul. and um, He went and told his mom, and his mom told him, uh, because she didn't know, you better get your soul in order or something like that. And don't nobody want to hear that. That that sounds like I'm of the devil or maybe like um, my soul ain't right. You know, like I have an evil soul. Don't nobody want to think that they're an evil person or any of that. So sometimes if you take it to the wrong person, um, they'll give you a feedback or response like that and it's just not helpful you know it might have you spinning for a couple hours and it's just unnecessary so I would start with journaling um you are free and more than welcome to do it in a different way um so you will have very strong cravings and thoughts and desires to return to your old ways I mean, there's just no way around that. It's it's going to happen until you're strong enough, until you have done um, the new routine enough to where the old routine knows there's no air for it to breathe. Plain and simple, okay. And 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 
that to your ego self. We'll talk about in another day, another time, you know, uh, the ego and how that comes about and all of that good stuff. I just want to uh, say this to you guys. Remember what you're doing this for. Just remember your why. And I know like that that sounds very cliche. A lot. This is another thing. Quick tip. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to say that other people are going to say that you're going to experience on this path is going to sound so cliche. Like you've been hearing this all your life and it's still being told to you and you haven't yet grasped the underlying inward concept of what it is they're saying. I could go on and on and on and on about these cliche sayings, but they're very true. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it to you too. And, and if you're of the frequency, you'll get it. If not, keep coming and level up your frequency so you can get it. Remember your why. Remember why you are doing this. Remember why you are doing this. My why is I want to be the best mother, the best wife, the best woman. That I can be okay I'm gonna show up like that everywhere I go I, I, I want it to be hands down nobody's topping me and when I say nobody I'm talking about me nobody as in me I'm not no, no lower level is topping where and what I'm doing now I am that I am that so um, I just want to encourage you guys to 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 take your time and even that is a cliche too, but it, it's so accurate. It's so it's so real. Take your time and be patient with yourself. I still tell myself, be patient, baby. I almost had a whole breakdown this morning. Okay, yeah, I'm living this out with you guys in real freaking time. But, um, this finds you at a time where it hits so good you don't even want the ice cream. It hits so good you don't want to smoke the blunt. It hits so good. Baby, you might go and turn on some Jesus Christ music. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your thing is. So I just, I, I, I'm, I'm so grateful for the space and for my own journey that I can't wait to hear about yours. So enjoy, enjoy, and be well. Love you. Bye.